Now that we've seen that the average treatment effect is in general not equal to the associational difference, a natural question is, what assumptions can we make that would make the average treatment effect equal to the associational difference? The main assumption to get that the ATE is equal to the associational difference is ignorability, which is that the potential outcome Y1 and the potential outcome Y0 are both independent of the treatment. We will show why this makes the ATE equal to the associational difference mathematically here, but we might not get a fully satisfying explanation until we see causal graphical models next week. So, if we look at the ATE here, on the left-hand side, if we assume ignorability, then we can condition on treatment, because both potential outcomes are independent of treatment, so we have this equality. Then, we just have that this turns into the associational difference. So the potential outcome Y1, given that my treatment was 1, is the same as the outcome given that my treatment was 1. Similarly, potential outcome Y0 given treatment equals 0 is the same as my outcome given that treatment equals 0. One way to see why this assumption is called ignorability is to look at that missing data example that we had before, and these question marks, if we were to just ignore them and then compute the means here and take the difference then we get the ATE under the assumption of ignorability. So if ignorability is true, then we can just ignore the question marks. Another way we could see how this is called ignorability is to look at this causal graph here where there is confounding. So in this graph, we don't have ignorability. But if we were to look at this treatment assignment mechanism or treatment selection mechanism, so that's the arrow from the covariates to treatment. It's how the treatment is assigned. If that assignment mechanism were ignorable, you know, if there's no arrow there, then we would have ignorability. And that's because confounding disappears when we delete that edge. We'll see this more when we get to graphical causal models. Another perspective on this same assumption is exchangeability. So exchangeability and ignorability are the same thing but they can give you kind of different perspectives for why the assumption makes it so that the average treatment effect is equal to the associational difference. To see what the exchangeability perspective has to offer here, consider the treatment group t equals 1 in red and the control group t equals 0 in blue here. Each of these groups have associated expected values of outcome. So that's expected value of y given t equals 1, and that equals Y1 for the treatment group. And similarly, it's Y0 for the control group. Let's label the treatment group, group A, and the control group, group B. Exchangeability means that if we were to swap A and B, so now that B is given treatment and group A is given control, the expected values would remain the same. So the expected value of Y given that I assigned treatment equals 1 to group B, is the same as if I had assigned it to group A. And similarly for group A, now that it is receiving control, is going to have the same expected value of Y as if B were receiving control. So what this tells us is that the expected value of the Y1 potential outcome in the treatment group is equal to the expected value of the Y1 potential outcome in the control group. So the, the one on the left is what we would see before the switch, that was group A before the switch, and then on the right is group B after the switch. This tells you that this is all equal to the expected value of the potential outcome, which means that the potential outcome Y1 is independent from treatment. Similarly, it's the same for the potential outcome Y0. And by independent here, I mean mean independent because there is a expected value. 
but that distinction isn't too important for our purposes.